What's up, guys? I have, yes, another package that came in this week. Uh, this is from Tortoise Pads. I won't hold it up. This is from Tortoise Pads. Um, and I got these... Um, I don't even know how to describe them, man. These are so cool. Um, if, first of all, if you're not into pads and you think anybody wearing any pads at all is lame and a wuss and all that kind of crap, then just hit the road. Peace out now, because you're not going to dig this. But if um, you're not a big fan of breaking bones unnecessarily or just being in pain for weeks and having it affect your skating, and especially if you're an old dude like me, who's kind of like getting back into it, but you don't want to destroy yourself, so you can't go to work and take care of your family or whatever, then you're gonna freaking love these things. So I am going to do kind of an unboxing um, here and just kind of go over a little bit about what these are about. Uh, see if I can get them together. I think they're mostly together already, but um, I'll kind of give you the rundown. From what I recall, um, yeah, they have, first of all, they have this really cool graphic. It's kind of cool packaging. See, look at this guy. He does not look like a wuss, and he's wearing his pads. So, let's pop these open here real quick. So first thing is, these are designed, I hope they fit too, by the way. I used their sizing chart online. They feel like they're gonna fit. But these are basically designed to be worn under your clothes. So probably over your underwear, unless you wanna be real funky over your underwear, but under like your pants or shorts or whatever. And they have padding for both your hips, your glutes, just in case your badonkadonk isn't what it used to be. And this is probably the part that interests me mo most is uh, the uh, tailbone or coccyx. If you are anatomically inclined as I am, as an x-ray student and hopefully future x-ray tech, um, I did a power slide a few weeks ago in um, my complex here and they just resurfaced the parking lot and it was a little bit slicker than what it was used to because there was kind of that, I don't know, goopy asphalt on top still. And um, so I kind of, it slid out from under me. I got a good three, four foot slide and then it kind of got away from me. And I fell about maybe this far onto my tailbone. It didn't feel like much, it didn't really hurt at the time. But like a week later, I was like, feels kind of achy back there, you know? So I think what I did, um, just judging from the pain level, I think I just bruised it or jammed it or something. But it's not fun and I certainly don't want to break it. That does happen. Um, it's just, if you look at, um, if you go on Google and, and just do a search of the spinal column or the coccyx, C-O-C-C-Y-X is how it's spelled, I believe, uh, you'll see the spinal column. It's the little tiny part at the very end, and it's not very substantial. So I imagine it's something that could probably be broken pretty easily. It seems that women break them more easily than men, so maybe the gals would be interested in this too. But I digress. These provide padding for the coccyx, tailbone, your glutes, if you don't have a substantial booty, and your hips. Now I took a fall um, a few weeks before the last one. Um, I think I was trying to avoid going off into the gutter into a puddle, so I was trying to turn extra sharp and I was leaning all weird. And I ended up, I think I wheel bit, and I ended up not only falling, but slamming pretty hard and falling right in the puddle, you know, which was fine. I mean, I did, just didn't want to get, get it all over my bearings and stuff, you know. But it was a pretty hard slam, and it was hard enough that 
my my femur, the head of my femur, my hip, if you will, uh, hurt for a couple weeks to the touch. And it was kind of like if you ever whack your shin, like practicing flip tricks or landings or whatever, and the board, your foot slips off the board and it pops up and whacks you in the shin, and then your shin is kind of tender to the touch in that spot for a while. It's a bone bruise. I don't know what the medical term is for it, but um, so even though they're not a break, they're not fun, you know? Um, and plus, I don't want to find out that I'm not too young to break a hip. <laughs> so anyway, I got these. Uh, they seem cool. These were these were pricey. They were about a hundred bucks shipped. So a lot of people are going to look at this right out of the gate, and they're going to be like, "I'm not spending a hundred bucks on something that's going to look like a diaper under my clothes, just so I don't hurt my fanny if I fall down." Okay, you know, suit yourself. You know, I mean, there was a time when I wouldn't have spent close to a hundred bucks for a set of regular pads. I didn't see the sense in it. I wore a pair of padded Smith gloves with a wrist wrap. That's all I wore. But I also banged and scraped my knees and my elbows a lot and was lucky not to break, ever break a wrist, but I did break my arm. Um, so this is the way I justified it. Um, when I took that fall on my hip, was it my hip? No, I took a fall a couple months ago on my wrist guards. And they worked as intended, but my wrist felt a little weird. I just wanted to, I think I bruised some of my carpal bones a little bit. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure nothing was broken. Broken. Um, by the way, there is a bone right in here, in this part of your wrist, called the navicular bone. And it's, the important thing about it, it's one of the few bones in your body that has blood vessels in it, and if it breaks, and those blood vessels get messed up, um, the bone can die. And that's, I don't think that you want that to happen. So if you ever suspect a wrist fracture, just go get an x-ray. You know, just bite the bullet and go get an x-ray. At the very least, get that one view. And they're actually gonna do that. They're gonna have you put your hand on the table and, you know, angle it like this so that that bone stands out. Um, but you don't want to mess with that. So I went and got a set of x-rays. Guess what? It was about a hundred bucks, you know? So, because they have to do multiple views and what have you. So I figure, you know, I can either spend a hundred bucks on prevention or I can possibly spend a hundred bucks on x-rays and then maybe spend three to six months incapacitated in physical therapy, not able to work, etc. For me, no brainer. So. Um, the way these things work, they have um, tucked into these little compartments and they really just kind of fold over, but they've got these, uh, they come with three layers of padding in, in them, okay? And the outermost layer is harder and the innermost layer is more cushiony. And then the layer in between is kind of in between. So. The idea being a little more impact protection out here, a little more cushion for your bones in here, right? And then they also come with an extra set of in-between pads here. Um, these are an additional eighth inch uh, that can provide you some additional padding and protection and so you can kind of customize them. Um, so you can add more where you need it, take it away where you don't, etc. Um, and from what I understand from the reviews that I read, uh, they seem to afford a fairly reasonable amount of um, freedom of movement. So that was really important to me too. Uh, the other thing is, um, just looking to see where these are made. Okay, here's another good thing. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, where is it? Up at the top, made in USA. I don't know if that's coming through or if it's blurry, but they're designed in California, made in the United States. I love that. You know, I'm like pro America. Um, and they're also uh, washable. You can wash them with uh, the, the pads in or out. You just kind of uh, 
hand wash them, I think in cold water, and let them air dry. That's it. Uh, you can't put them in a machine, you can't throw them in the dryer, it's bad news, so just don't do it. Just uh, wash them by hand, but, you know, that's great, you know. Now, you're probably going to have to get a size or two up in your pants. I haven't bought pants for these yet. You're probably going to have to get a size or two up in your pants so that you have room for these under your clothes or your shorts or whatever. Um, and, yeah, I mean, look at them. I'm going to put these on in a minute, like over my underwear, just so you can see um, kind of what they look like and what the profile of them is, I guess. But... Um, you're going to have to go up in size for your clothes because otherwise your clothes are going to be tight and, and that's going to restrict your movement. So, But I think these are a really cool idea. I looked at a number of uh, different types of hip pads and stuff uh, online. Some were more like beefy. They had these big plasticky things on them. Uh, some didn't offer as much protection. You know, Both of those kinds were, were both cheaper. But they looked like they were the quality was cheaper too, and according to the reviews, they didn't seem to fare that well. So um, I don't know what else I can say about these right now. Um, I'm gonna pause the video for a second here, or just do a edit, a creative edit, and um, slip these on, and let you guys see what they look like. So I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> so, it's gonna kind of let you guys see these. So I'm either gonna look like a um, like an Avenger superhero, or a skate robot, or an old man with a full diaper I'm not sure <laughs> but uh, they definitely feel like they have some protection to them and uh, just kind of sitting down on them I can feel where they would offer some cushioning um, they're not as cushiony as I hoped but especially in the tailbone area but I think they'll be okay. Um, so that's what you're looking at. Um, follow the size chart that they have online. And, uh, you know, because they have a size for your waist and they have a size for your hips. And depending on your body type, those may vary a little bit. But... Um, if you get those measurements right and you follow their fitting guidelines, you shouldn't have too much trouble finding something that fits comfortably. Um, I don't feel like these would uh, like these would really restrict my movement at all um, in any way. So uh, I guess the real test is going to be when I go out and skate in them. And even more than that, when I fall down. So, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this video. Um, do these look as bad as they think? or are they? I don't think they're that bad, actually. I thought they were going to look real corny. Um, but they don't look that bad. And honestly, you know, I'm going out in usually a white t-shirt and some generic looking pants or shorts and a bunch of pads. So I'm not really trying to make a fashion statement, but uh, let me know if any of you guys have tried any other types of hip or tailbone padding and what you think. Uh, if Let me know if you have any questions about these that I can answer. Um, and I'll try to put a link to, um, to the product. Yeah, I think I got it on Amazon. I'll, I'll try to put a link in the description for you guys. Uh, this is just a customer review. I'm not affiliated with them. I have no sponsorship uh, from anybody, actually. So if somebody wants to send me free stuff to review, I'll definitely check it out. But um, let me know. Um, let me know also if any of you guys do wear pads when you skate. 
You know, I notice that I watch a lot of videos on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that, and I notice uh, a lot more of the younger kids now uh, are wearing pads, are wearing helmets. I know Andy Anderson wears a helmet all the time. I think he wears like some kind of padded gloves too. But, um, you know, it's, it's not as stigmatized as it used to be. You know, when I was a kid, it was like most people didn't do that unless they were riding a ramp or something. But, um, and I didn't used to like wearing pads, especially knee pads used to really bother me because I felt like they would clack together and get in the way when I was trying to ollie and do different things. And, and you know, after using them exclusively for a couple of months, you just start to not notice them, you know. There are some subtle issues in terms of weight and weight distribution that can be an issue. I'm already a little bit of a bigger guy than I was when I was younger. And when you're doing tricks like balance tricks, like manuals and stuff like that, um, I imagine when you don't have a helmet on, you know, shifting your head a little bit one way or the other probably doesn't make a huge difference. But when you have a helmet on, that's another pound or so, and especially if it's moving on your head, you know, it's just another thing that you have to overcome. Just like if you've got a few extra pounds in your belly or whatever, you know, so, um, but you can overcome it. You know, I can manual the width of a street pretty consistently now and um, a side street. So, you know, and that's with all my crap on. So if I can do it, you definitely can. I'm not the best skater out there. Um, anyway, thank you guys for checking in and uh, I look forward to hearing your comments on this and your questions. And, um, you know, I just want to encourage you, um, whatever your age, to consider uh, wearing pads. Uh, depending on the type of skating you do, maybe you only need certain pads. I would encourage anybody who's willing to wear as many pads as you can, elbow, wrist, knee pads, helmet, probably some hip or tailbone padding, just because getting hurt and being out of skating for two or three months is not cool. It's not fun. And I know a lot of you guys I see on Instagram with your bloody hands and your bloody knees and stuff. I mean, I guess, but why? <laughs> Why, if you could be out skating tomorrow, you know, you could take that same fall, have a little scrape on your pad, no real injury, and be out skating tomorrow and progressing and getting better. So, you know, it's your body. Obviously, some of you guys are doing insane stuff. You know, you'll be lucky not to, to have a serious injury. But, uh, you know, especially you older guys like me, wear your pads, man. It, uh, it makes a difference, and uh, it, I find it gives me more confidence with some things than it would have. So, my two cents. Thanks for checking in. God bless. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.